What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 6 and 6.1. So finally, the amazing guys over at evasion.com have released the jailbreak for iOS 6 and 6.1. I believe it supports pretty much most of the devices that can run that firmware, so pretty much anything out there, you're gonna be able to install this jailbreak on, and I'm extremely excited to get my jailbreak back. Most of you guys know I love rooting and jailbreaking my phones, and obviously the jailbreak has been missing now for absolutely ages. So it's gonna be so nice to have it back. So I just thought I'd do a quick run through with you guys on how to install the jailbreak on your iOS device. Now, first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a USB cable to connect it to your computer. You're either gonna need Windows, Mac, x86 or a linux computer to be able to install it and you're going to be needing to run either ios 6 or 6.1 probably preferential to get right up to date on 6.1 before you install the jailbreak make sure you back up completely your ios device before installing the jailbreak just before something goes wrong now i'll leave all the links down in the description below as to where you go but essentially you head over to evasion.com and i'll leave a little banner across the page here where you need to download the relevant piece of software for your computer in order to be able to install the jailbreak. Then go ahead and plug in your iOS device. I'm gonna be using a iPad 4 in this case connected via the lightning cable. And also remember to get rid of your passcode that you've got on your device. So that's the first thing that I'm gonna do is just get rid of that passcode lock turn passcode off, done. We connected up to the Mac via the USB cable. Like I said, you can use Windows or Linux for this, it really doesn't matter. And then we've got our file that we've got downloaded from invasion.com that we're just gonna run up here on the computer. So everything's plugged in and it has the passcode removed. And now we are just going to unlock it and run the jailbreak so essentially you just run up the bit of software click the jailbreak button once you've removed that passcode and also plugged it in via the usb cable and that's just going to go away now and do its thing very 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 simple guys so you're going to have no problem doing this whatsoever like i said you can probably tell i'm so excited to get my jailbreak back i can finally start using some of those third party kind of not specifically allowed applications from the Cydia store. Really looking forward to getting that back on. All the tweaks and kind of upgrades and little things that you can do. I absolutely can't wait. So this jailbreak now is gonna go away and do its thing. I'll just show you that the iPad 4 there is actually rebooting and we'll probably see now the actual jailbreak taking place. So I'll just leave this running for just a few more seconds to see if we can see that begin to run there and once you've done that you're going to be away the Cydia logo will be installed on your device and then you're just ready to start installing those applications from the Cydia store those tweaks and all those beautiful little things that we get from rooting and jailbreaking our devices so anyway guys I thought I'd just bring you that quick video if any of you guys want to see anything about jailbreaking or you know any of the stuff that I use in the terms of the jailbreak leave it down in the comments below and we'll maybe come back with a video at a later stage. My iPad is actually going away, doing its thing now, so hopefully mine will be done very, very shortly. Anyway guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Please do hit that like button for me and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.